all here today. So I'm going to do about two minutes of just the drum beat. And my invitation is wherever you are, whatever you're growing through, whatever curveball spirit's throwing your way, just give this an opportunity to connect with the heartbeat of the Divine Mother and get back into your bodies. And Romeo clearly wants to be a part of this experience. So get down, little bubby. We love you, but shaman dog, please step aside. <laughs> He's like, must be in the middle. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and just take some deep breaths in. <sighs> Close our eyes and just feel the heartbeat of the earth under our feet. Rest into your body. Nice and warm. This beautiful pillar of light. Heavens. Your body. Radiating every cell, every pore. Not light. drinking in that golden rivers of light, seeing that beautiful light radiate through your legs, through your hips, through your womb, your lower dantian, your life force energy, seeing that beautiful golden rivers of light make its way through your digestive tract so you can digest the turns and the changing of the seasons with ease and grace. Golden rivers of light radiate out of your arms, out your fingertips. This room. Out into the block with your arm. How powerful you are. You are the divine connection between the heavens and the earth. With you, all manifestations possible. That's why your prayers matter, your life matters, your purpose on this planet matters. Thank you. Thank you for saying yes to being a human this lifetime. <laughs> Allowing that beautiful golden light to make its way into your heart chakra, radiating through your lungs, making you life with ease and grace. Allowing that golden light to make its way up to your throat love and grace, allowing that beautiful golden light now to make its way up to your third eye, you can see the truth of the Queen of Oz curtain, connecting you with the divine, the divine intelligence, the cosmic Google, your antenna is connected to, seeing that beautiful golden light radiate out of your head. Thank 
Angel Giant, Divine Star Seed. over to my sister Brianna as she does this invocation, this divine prayer to call in guides, angels, ascended masters, directions. I don't know if Brianna's on. I'm on. I'm just dancing, babe. We're dancing. <laughs> We're dancing with the whole thing. So proud oh of us. Goodness. Yeah, yeah. So it might go in and out because we're by the lake. We're literally by a lake. We got, so a flat good. Tire. we got a flat tire. We're here. Waterfront um, property. So excited about the commitment to Sacred Sundays because we knew that you would be here, Amber. We knew that you would be here, David. And we knew that all of you would be here. So from Brianna and Berhart of the Earth Temple, we are in sure. the earth right now. About a quarter of our vehicle is in the earth, literally. It's not, the thing about the spiritual path is that it, does, it doesn't get easier. It's not that spirit all of a sudden is like, oh, you've graduated. Now you get easier things in life. Congratulations. You know how to transmute emotions. It actually gets more subtle and more challenging as our life goes on. The deeper we get in touch with our centers, the more challenge arises to see how we can stand in our own truth. Can we stand in love no matter what arises? Can we stand in love no matter what arises? I'm excited to dive into the theme of grief today. I'm excited to dive into whatever shadows want to come up and be released. And it's so fascinating that right before, an hour before we were going to come on, we're three miles from our house, we get this flat tire and just an opportunity to be like, how, how much can we stay in our truth? How much can we stay in our love? no matter what arises. So it's an opportunity to be here with all of you as the service goes in and out because we're literally in the middle of the mountains <laughs> right now. We, we rarely even get phone service right here. We're not even supposed to get phone service right yeah. here. So the fact that we're even dialed in, I tried, I was just doing all the things, did the prayers and we're like, okay, this is where it's gonna be today. Spirit, we trust. You want us to be by the lake? <laughs> Halfway in the earth with our car waiting for AAA as we leave say Of course. She is Chris my name is Amber and David. Yes. Mm -hmm. So with that, we're gonna dive in. <laughs> it's just yes. what it's supposed to be. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank, Thank you, Spirit, Spirit, of all the things it could be. So mm -hmm. perfect. Always, always. So let's dive into prayer. I'll just invite us all to close our eyes and take several nice deep breaths into the low belly, inhaling deep, exhaling with sound. Ah. It doesn't need to be that loud. We just want to activate the vagus nerve, the nerve that goes from the center of our forehead to the center of our chest into our digestive system out of our genitals. When we vibrate, when we make a... Uh, ever it activates our vagus nerve which is responsible for calming down our system uh, and activating that vibration is almost like singing a lullaby to our nervous system so to pray we we want to get into the emotion the emo most important part of a spell or a prayer or any sort of invocation is the amount of energy that we give to it how much we get into it so my invitation to you is if you have a rattle because i don't got mine right now you got a drum if you have your voice to just allow your breath to take you into that fifth dimensional that place beyond identity that place beyond right and wrong that place beyond gravity that oneness space we just want to enter there together enter into the temple together <sighs> and just allow yourself to start to breathe all the way down into the womb all the way down into the dantian and call all of yourself present here whatever has been that has led up to this moment we're going to let it be whatever's going to happen next in your life we don't know we don't ever know quarantine and pandemic or not we never know what's happening next and that's the spirit that we evoke into this space the great mystery we call upon you now 
creator. The one who is, always will be, the I am that lives inside of every single one of us. We invoke you into this space. We invoke you with our breath. We invoke you with our present moment awareness. That's where we can meet the creator. You want to know God? Get present. It lives in every tree, in every rock, in every breath, in every giggle. It lives in every moment that we bring all of ourselves 100% to the moment. That's where we can meet goddess, God, I am. So we op open up this time, this 77 minutes of communal prayer, the individual one religion, the relationship with self to your own source creator. We activate this now and in, inside of everyone, every single soul that's listening, every single soul that's tuning in. We say, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity to connect. Thank you for this opportunity to dive in. Thank you for this opportunity to explore the theme of grief. What a luxury, what a privilege it is to activate our shadow and go in with the headlamp on, with our third eye lamp on, our heart open, our womb, deep belly breaths, and go into these dark caverns knowing this is where the treasure lies. We know in the shadow, in the challenge, is being birthed something even more beautiful in the personal and the collective. So we honor this time of death and we honor the natural grieving that comes up because of it. We open this ceremony to be in thanksgiving, but also to be in the realness, the authenticity of what it means to be human. We activate our infinite self and our finite self, the one who can see all. and feel this moment, we activate the directions and all of the elements, calling them into our presence now. The north, the earth, our body, Mama Gaia, thank you. All the animal, plant, mineral, queendoms, kingdoms, activated in our body, activated in this moment, together as one human family, thank you. Destination earth, we all said together. We came in at this time together, my family, to be the light, to shed the light, to bring light to all of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To the east, to the wind, to our mind, to our ego, to that which touches everything but is never seen. We say thank you, we bow you. Below our heart, we bow you. Below our wombs, we bow you below our passion and purpose so that you can be the fuel for our daily action, so that you can help us learn how to structure and organize and create the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega container for our infinite experience. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To the selves, to the fires, to our passionate purpose, to our intimate relationship. guides us through these times the people that we love and the places that we love and this life that we are creating that we love why we came here thank you to the sun in the sky and the sun in our belly thank you for guiding us every day thank you thank you thank you to the west to the waters to the rain cycles to the rivers to the lakes oshun and yemanja thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you you are what makes us the blue planet you are our energy and motion our emotion you activate within us the ability to connect with each other. You are our relationships. Water is never disconnected and neither are we as human beings just because we have water within us. So we are all one through you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Biochemically, we are one through the water. Thank you. With our hands on the earth, we call upon the ancestors of where we stand, the Kumeyaay people, the band of Los Coyotes, where I am at currently by this Lake Cuyamaca the beautiful sacred site of so many thousands of years of ceremonies. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having to stop here to be by this giant freshwater lake as we pray today. For my human family around the world, we are from one family. We are from one lineage. We are one. We are from the earthling lineage, from the universe of the Milky Way, from the solar system of the golden sun. That is our lineage that we are claiming today. Breathe that in. All tribes came from this one tribe. All cultures came from this one culture. We are earthlings first. Thank you, thank you, thank you, earth. Thank you, my ancestors. Thank you, my one ancestor that is your ancestor, that is our shared ancestor. Thank you. With our hands to the heavens, we open up the angelic realm. our life ascended to the place of being for the highest good of all the bodhisattvas 
who realized the oneness, who knew there was nothing to gain, who released all need to prove self and came back to activate the end of suffering for all others. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those for the highest good of all, we welcome you into this space. With our hand on our heart and hand on our belly, our lower dantian, we just breathe in spirit. Breathe in this life, breathe in this life. And allow all of ourself and all of ourselves to be here in this space, here and now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That of all things and no things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We activate this time with thanksgiving, with gratitude, with all the range of human emotions. Bliss is any feeling fully felt, Joseph Campbell said. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We open up this space for all feelings so we can be in the river of bliss of what we came for to have a human experience. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May this time bless every single one of us in this space, Amber, David, Bearheart, and myself included. May it bless all of our friends, our families, those who are listening into the recording, all of their friends, and may it bless all of those who receive from us, all of those who support us, all of our relations, and may it bless every being on every planet across every timeline, including all of the leaders at this time. May this prayer touch their hearts, open their bodies, and reconnect them to God, the one source, the infinite I am that we all are. We are all special. We are all chosen. We are the bride of Christ. We are Mary Magdalene. We are the Buddha. We are the return of Allah in human form in this lifetime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. And so it is. Allowing ourselves just to breathe it in. Breathe in the oneness, breathe in the individual beauty of each person here on the call. If you're able to look at the faces, if you're able to see how many people are on the call, just take a moment to connect with everyone's heart. Take a moment just to feel everyone. We're scrolling through, we're on our phones. We've got like 10 hundred scrolls to do to see all y'all, but it's so worth it, yeah. (laughs) Feeling the love, receiving the love, giving the love to everyone here on this call. Yeah. Oh, it's so good to see all of you. Brothers and sisters, mm, we love So you. good. So good. And then taking a moment to collectively sp- spread the bright light around our planet. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. more to come hand in the hand in the proverbial microphones talking stick to you brother david we're so grateful to be here we're excited to do some breath in the middle of our car on the side of this mountain yeah yeah thank you sister now I'm, I'm every time i'm brought to, to tears uh so thank you brianna and uh just so grateful to be praying with all y'all uh, this morning i went out with my daughter and my wife my beloved and uh we did some singing and praying and offerings and hash so uh you know what's coming to me. Uh, hey, Brother David, before you get into your flow, if you could just get closer to the microphone, we're getting that we can't really hear you and we love okay. your words. So like, let's get loud and, and into the microphone. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. So when I was out there praying this morning, you know, um, he was saying, and it, it, it's, it's from a, a Mayan teacher. Uh, Martin Pretzel, and it talks about grief and praise and how our entire culture, you know, we don't know how to grieve, you know, we're not given time and space to grieve. And, and um, he tells a story about, you know, in, in, in times of war, you know, the worst thing is people don't have time to grieve because we're in fear and we, and we have to get our shit and go. And then it's never fully processed and, and it becomes petrified sorrow. Let's see if we can hear you. You've got to talk way louder. Okay. How, how about now? How about now? Is that better? Better, better, better? Okay. So, so basically, you know, our ability to move through grief is also connected to our ability to praise life because we know how to praise life well and honor our, our, our elders and our children and our beloveds and honor the plants and the trees. Then when it's gone, we know how to weep for it because it meant something. We know how to truly cry because fuck, I love that thing, man. You know? And so sometimes I start getting, I, 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 you know, feeling with gratitude and I start to cry. And I'm like, oh, what would happen if I lost, you know, someone dear to me, right? So, so, so just give yourself that opportunity today to, to, to shed some tears if it feels, you know, 
so there's no uh, there's no rushing or forcing of anything you know and this is just a space so um so what i want us to do right now is is, is feel our hearts and our lungs specifically and then bring your hands and just go like this over over and kind of massage into the middle part of the sternum and feel some of that tenderness in there okay and we'll start to just t take some deep breaths into the belly and then from the belly move it into the lungs into your high heart and you can tap if you want and so the lungs house our honor and our integrity right so tune into the original nature of that honor and that integrity for all life, that honor for yourself and that acceptance of yourself. First and foremost, you are safe, you are loved. And then on the exhale, just let out a sound. And start to get in touch with those that maybe you have lost during this life. You know, those who have you, you have loved and lost, you know or ways of being, things that are like, oh, wow, I really miss that, and I love that, and it hurts, and it's okay, you know, it's okay. And we're gonna do this, this lung sound to help move some of this grief, and the sound is shh, okay? So you can imagine, like, you know, uh, your, your grandma, that love, unconditional love holding your heart, shh, letting you know it's gonna be okay, okay? So let's do that three times together, breathe in big, connect to that, that courage, that honor, and helping to relax and let go. Shh. Breathe in full and big. Shh. Let's do it two more times. Good. And just keep moving where you feel called to one more. Now take your hands, and then you're gonna tap on the shoulders. Remember, Brianna was talking about that triangle before. So you can go from the collarbone underneath to the shoulders, opening up lung one and two. And as we open these channels, our arm channels open, and all that heaviness that you're carrying for centuries, right, for, for the family members that didn't know how to cry, for your grandma and gra grandpa that didn't know how to cry, we're opening up the pathway through us, okay, to feel mm -hmm. all that was unfelt, right? They didn't have these skills to feel what was unfelt, so by us, Healing, you know, we're able to open that pathway, okay? So here we go. We're going to do five breaths, all right? So we're going to drop into the two more now. So on three, we're going to exhale all of our air and just, and just imagine there's a vortex of light and you're just opening. Your, 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 your grief is your offering, okay? Mm -hmm. Your sadness, your tears, your sorrow, just giving it up, okay? To the, to the, the to earth as an as offering, okay? So five breaths. One, two, three. Exhale all your air. Rock forward. Breathe in, rock back. Open the lungs. And out. In. And out. Three. And out. Four. Bigger. Last one. With all your heart and soul, breathe in. Hold it at the top. Relax your shoulders, round your belly. And as you exhale, feel that heat and that warmth emanating through your body, melting any grief or sorrow in your heart clearing the petrified sorrow from our blood, from our ancestors, those who couldn't cry and couldn't weep. We love you, we honor you. Thank you for giving us the courage to be here. Because we know life is hard and sometimes accidents happen and it's okay. And we know that's all part of a greater plan. And we learn how to forgive. God, open our hearts to forgiveness so we may forgive ourselves so we may forgive others. And then that forgiving opens up a pathway of acceptance of, of who we truly are. And then breathe in an inner smile, big. Reclaim that essence of your original nature in your lungs, courage, honor, self-acceptance. And then imagine your higher self speaking to yourself right now. I love you. I honor you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for your emotions. Thank you for your tears, for your laughter.
and breathe and feel. And so feeling the, your inner world right now, feeling how available you feel, available to your emotions, spirit. And now as we go into this next round of prayers, I want you to, uh, or I invite you to extend this, this opportunity of, of, of grieving, of, of opening the tear ducts. You know, uh, Martin Prechtel, he said that our tears creates the river that, that guides our ancestors home, back to mm -hmm. source, you know. And that's what we've lost in our life. We've, we've forgotten how to honor death as an initiation. Mm -hmm. Death is simply a graduation into the next life. And we're mm -hmm. all going through a death. Yes. We're all going through a death. And it's fucking sad. It's fucking hard, you know. And it's going to be all right, you know. It's going to be all right. I got your back. You know, I'm praying and singing every day for y'all. And so feel that, you know, every day you, you tune in the spirit through your breath, your movement, whatever it may be, you know, and pray for those you love, see them supported. And this is simple and it's profound, you know. In the old tribe days, they, they used to call them uh, praise singers or the weepers. They used to call them the weepers, you know, when, 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 the, when people couldn't cry after a death and they felt like the energy was heavy in the house, they would call in the weepers, you know. And um, so if you're on this, you know, you have that capacity to open your heart and, and, um, and let spirit flow through our, through our eyes, <laughs> okay? So let's, let's see all of our family members loved up, courageous, courageous to feel all the feels. Feel all the feels, baby. Here we go, let's do 10, okay? 10 breaths for new beginnings, honoring death and rebirth, here we go. And if you want, you can tap your lungs again. Uh, 10 breaths. On three. One, two, three. Exhale. Breathing in through your nose with sound. And out. In. And out. Opening our lung chi. The freshness. The courage and the honor. The appreciation for all life. Five more for Mother Earth. The healing of our waters. Three more for our loved ones. Slow it down. And then when you're ready, take that last one. Hold it in your heart. Drop it in your belly. And as you exhale, feel the wings behind you through your ancestors crying and weeping feeling them praise you. Our ancestors are sending so much love and appreciation for you showing up right now, for helping them, for opening the way, clearing out the residual fear, shame, sadness, grief that's in our nervous system that was programmed in our DNA from hundreds of years ago. We have nothing to fear. We have nothing to fear. You are loved. You've always been loved. And we will all die. And when you pass, I will sing your praises. And I will sing your soul songs. And you will be remembered. Mm -hmm. You will be remembered always. <sighs> Give yourself permission to feel. Permission to feel everything through your body, to your heart, to your bones. <sighs> it doesn't got to look any certain way. Just, just let it feel. Whatever you're feeling is all good. And now, as we come into our third prayer and breath work, feel your body. Feel the vibration of spirit in yourselves. 
then we know that when we do this tumor practice, every cell begins to brighten up, right? Or the white blood cells become crystallized, our immune function, our auric feel becomes potentized with love, with strength, with courage, and you feel your feel growing stronger in this moment. We're building our energetic muscles, our spiritual muscles, and I honor you and I thank you for showing up here today. So let's uh, do this third round for celebration. Celebration and praise of life, right? Grief and praise, they, they, they sleep in the same bed, you know? And so let's praise life. What do you praise right now? What are you so grateful for in your heart? What do you appreciate about yourself? And let's tune into that praise and amplify that praise. Seven billion or eight billion, how many billions of people are on this planet? Just let's elevate that and amplify that for all beings on this planet. Tuning into celebration as the earth rejoices. The earth rejoices right now. So let's do, let's do 11. That master number and feel the DNA within you opening up, activating that celebration. The new codes, the new codes of the earth, the golden octave. Here we go. The golden octave inside of our DNA. On three, 11 breath. One, two, three. Exhale. Breathe in. Now. In. Four. Five is alive, opening our hearts. Six, filling our lungs. Number seven, connecting to heaven. Number eight, opening all the gates and the pores within our being. Number nine, shining our love and celebration. Slow it down. 10, calling in grace. Last one, with all your heart and soul, breathe in. Hold it, hold it, love it. Drop it down in your belly and praise life. We praise life. We praise the rocks and the stones and the rivers. We praise our families and our friends and every person in this sacred space. And we see our brethren across the lands on power spots in nature, breathing with us, crying with us, laughing with us. We are in the quantum field and see the light codes within the earth activating, creating a sacred geometric pattern of light emanating through us and as us. You feel your auric field filled with this golden octave. <laughs> Breathing in that golden light into your bones, into the piezoelectricity of your bones. You feel it vibrating in your DNA. <laughs> Breathing in soft and smooth, feeling the celebration of earth. We are like sails on the earth rejoicing, coming back into balance with the ecosystem of Mother Earth. And that's being stillness now for a few more breaths. Feel your spine tall, tailbone in Mother Earth. Crown open, heart open. Feel the potentized silence. And as we close, you can bring one hand over your heart, one over your belly, and massage and tune into that, that self love, that appreciation. And then move your body in a nourishing way. Ooh. Stretch a bit. Whew. Oh. Wow, that was a journey. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow.
Mm, thank you so much, everyone. Yeah. Bear heart. I'll pass the, uh, the. Here you go. Here you go, brother. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you came over as another cell phone. Wow, that's crazy. Incredible. Uh, that was amazing. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. Mm. Thank beautiful, man. Thank, thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you, Sister Amber. Thank you, Brianna. Oh, this is so potent. Oh, this is so good. Thank you, Spirit. My prayer right now, Spirit, is is to know that no matter where any one of us are, a home, a car, on the side of the road, in prison, in a nursing home, or in a hospital, we're not alone. And we're not alone for one simple reason, it's because we're praying for everyone. Everyone gets to feel our prayer. Every single person on this earth, every single animal, every single plant, every single spirit gets to feel our prayer, which means no one's alone. And if we could take a deep breath into that. Allow ourselves to feel ourselves more, allow ourselves to feel our energy more when we send these spells out, when we send these prayers to the masses. Also, when we allow ourselves to feel the ones that are sent to us. Spirit, help us allow ourselves to feel as much love and joy that comes our way. Even if it's uncomfortable, Spirit. Help us understand that if another energy comes our way, that we can always find a way to transmute it into love and understanding and oneness. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Spirit, for exactly where we are, because if we were supposed to be anywhere else, that's exactly where you would have us be, Spirit. We trust you. We love you, Spirit. We honor the path that you've allowed us to choose. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And now, <laughs> for me and my energy, I get to be able to uh, transfer to continuing the 3D reality of fixing up my vehicle to make sure that my queen gets home safe. Mm. I thank everyone so much. I'm going to take care of this, and hopefully, I'll jump back in before it's done. Heart, the tow truck man. Just arrived here you wanted to come on this call and and open up this space to really show you know no matter what position we're in we're always here i'm gonna open up to say hello for a moment um we're always in a place where we can come back to what it is that spirit wants us to show up as um so the car might be moving around a little bit while they're taking care of the tire um but I just wanted to really open up this time. And as we're talking about grief, one of the, the stages of grief is anger and, and the rage and the feeling of helplessness that comes up. And as a type A personality and as a, a human who um, has a lot of emotion, one of the places that my sadness or my grief often emphasize is in the place of anger and rage and feeling helpless is something for me that is so difficult especially because i'm a mama and i love being a caretaker and a supporter and so when my uh ability to help others is taken offline or someone dies that i feel like i could have helped or even at this time of quarantine where i like i want to do more like my grief shows up in this feeling of helplessness um and so what I wanted to open up today is a roaring ceremony <laughs> and allow the anger, allow the rage to come through. I might freak out our AAA guy a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to step outside to roar when it's time to roar. 
but I want to invite everyone, if you're in a space with shared people or you have thin walls, I would invite you to get a pillow or a towel that you can stream into that we're going to roar into. We're going to do it three times. And there's three main steps to a roaring ceremony. I'm going to make sure to include the link to a roaring ceremony in our show notes, in our temple Sunday notes, our sacred Sunday notes, so that you guys can go through this in a little bit more detail. But step number one in a roaring ceremony is our intention. Perfect. <laughs> the little mask <laughs> that looks like a, a genitalia cup. I know. It's called a belt box. Uh -huh. uh, my, my, um, my, my wife's brother got it because he's in theater. So he would, he would sing his ass on. And you can't really, you can scream as amazing. We need to get those in bulk for our roaring yeah, it's, it's ceremony. Dope. We'll pretty put dope. the link in the email we send to all y'all. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Amazing, amazing. So get your version of the belt box. Don't lay a star seat to sleep Starseed in, so we gotta be. Yeah. yeah, perfect. So into a pillow, into a mattress is really good, or just into a pillow, or if you can go outside and you're in a space where roaring is available, um, another place I like to roar is in my car. Another place I like to roar is in the bathtub, like under the water. Roaring is a vital part of moving energy. If we do not know how to get in touch with our anger, it will show up as disease in our body. That's just bottom line, one way or another. And if you have any blood lineage that has passion, aka all of us, for me, it's I call upon my Italian strega nona and I call upon my Choctaw lineage that has so much <laughs> passion and anger and allow it to flow through. So the intention today for all of us is just allow the energy to flow through, even if it's not anger, even if it's just energy, just to flow through. So the intention today is to let it flow through. So we set our intention. The second step of the roaring ceremony is to actually do it. We're gonna roar three times, and the invitation is to go until you can't go anymore. So you go, Completion. you go, you go, you go, and then when you feel complete, we'll do that three times together. And then at the end of the roaring ceremony, we'll do a little bit of integration. So intention integration is always the sandwich that we want to have in any sort of cathartic experience, but especially in ceremony. So we're just going to set the intention today to open our channel, open the channel above our head, open the channel below our legs, and allow the energy just to flow through, through our voice, through our roaring. We'll do that three times. Then we'll come back together and do a little bit of integration. Oh, yeah. Rain says, let's go. She's ready. Everyone's ready for me to stop talking and for us to start doing. So to get into the space for this, I want everyone just to start breathing nice and deep into the lowest part of your belly, just to start to call upon this feeling of grief. I want you to just name it. Call in any pieces that have been feeling gr like grief or anger into the space. Nice, deep belly breath as you just start to call in anything that's been angering you, anything that has been creating sadness, anything. It's been creepy in and out of your mouth. Ah. Starts to come through. I'm turning towards this lake. It's really good to direct your energy at something bigger than you, at the ocean at the sun, at the earth, allow the energy to go towards. We don't necessarily wanna be thinking about people or experiences while we're doing this. We can allow them to channel through, but our energy is moving towards nature. Our energy is letting her know that we're ready to love. Let go of the shit, nice deep breath in the mouth. Let it out. Ah, next one, let it out. Ah! Couple breaths here. Ah, we're going to go again. Ah, next breath, we're going to breathe it out with a roar. Breathe breath in and breathe it out. Ah! 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 Ah!
<sighs> get prepared. And you saw how I do it. This third one, we're going to let it all out. So just keep it going until it's complete. It might be 10 roars. It might be 20 roars. Just allow it to go until it's complete. Here we go. go couple in. Roar it out. Ah! 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 Tap into your solar plexus a little bit. In the, okay, go. Tap into your solar plexus in your in, in the liver on the right and open up that third chakra. Open that up. If you're still I didn't hear you fully. Give yourself to continue to breathe nice and deep into the belly. Feel your toes. Feel your feet. All the way down. Nice deep breaths. As we allow for the integration to begin. Sometimes it's about laying down, allowing you to walk around. It really depends on what's moving for you. Allow it to be true, allow it to be real. As we breathe and start to integrate, saying thank you to this grief. Thank you, anger. Thank you for flowing through me. Thank you, Spirit, for showing us ways that we don't have to hold on to this. We don't have to be the containers. We're learning how to be the channels of this energy. <sighs> Breath, sound, movement, whatever works for you to get this moving through your body. <sighs> Breath, sound, movement, touch. Allow yourself to digest this experience. This might be the loudest you've ever roared on command <laughs> to allow yourself to evoke that level of emotion energy and motion feel yourself feeling yourself breathing here a couple more moments here breath sound movement touch nourishing nurturing yourself saying thank you Thank you to this vessel. Thank you to this one who said yes to this sacred Sunday. Thank you to this one who said yes to moving through the grief and not becoming identified with it. If we don't move our emotions, we become identified with them. No, we're so much more than our emotions. Our emotions are information, but they are not who we are. So we're learning how to digest them and utilize them and learn from them, but not become identified with them. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah. And then when you're ready in the next few moments, find your version of stillness. Oh. So we come back here. Being gratitude and thanksgiving and the knowing that we don't know shit. Ah. Oh. Thank you, great mystery. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, bare heart and triple A tow truck man. <sighs> thank you, Lake. Thank you, Sky. Thank you, David. Thank you, Amber. Thank you to all these souls who are here roaring with me. That was powerful, my brothers and my sisters and my others. Thank you. <sighs> and this is a ceremony you get to take with you along the way. Continue your integration. If there's breath, sound, movement, touch along the way, this is a big one. And we'll be providing the, the directions of how to hold your own roaring ceremony. Integrating with journaling is really helpful as well to get some words to some of these emotions. I highly, highly encourage some journaling after this sacred Sunday for moving of this grief and retapping back into our natural state of being, which is joy. Joy, joy, joy. Thank you, 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 thank you all for being with me. Bless, 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 bless.
Let's all send our sister Brianna a super chi ball chi. love blast. Mm. Together, activating the left and right hemispheres of the brain, yeah. drawing on the chi in between yeah. your hands. Make and that when fire. You're ready, take a deep breath in, radiate it out of your heart as you extend and blast. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah energy, that life force energy you just cultivated that is your birthright, that is your superpower that you were born with, allowing all that to radiate out of your heart, out of your arms, out of your palms, feeling that chi vibrate, blasting that triple A worker, bless his heart, blasting him full of chi. This is the best stop he's made all day. He's going to be lit <laughs> after this experience. If you see the car tilting right now, it's because they're putting on the tire literally right now. No, that was us. No, no, that's <laughs> us. We did that. Sorry, but that was our Felt team. Felt it. Felt it. Received. <laughs> Fully received. So good. Thank oh, you, sir. So God, I'm still like vibrating. Yeah, Ooh. thank you. Amazing. Can't wait to do more of that. Mm, so grateful. You. So grateful. So grateful. Wow, Hand it over heart. to you, Thank you. Thank you. So grateful. I'm covered in leaves and dirt right now because I was like in the dirt roaring for you guys, roaring as myself. And, and yeah. just thank this you. is it's so powerful. What we have is our Fire hand. <laughs> thank you for that. We felt it. Yeah. Hearing you scream just like brought me so much joy. I was like, oh, <sighs> let's just take a deep breath in. Just honoring ourselves for doing the work, you know, being a light worker, a way shower. A light warrior this lifetime is not easy, but this is what it's about. It's doing the work. We've never arrived. We never will arrive. And as B said, we don't know shit. So thank you for going there, for roaring for yourself, for your ancestors, for all those that are voiceless, that can't roar, for all those that are blocking off the full experience of being a human this lifetime, which is to feel emotion, energy and motion. So thank you for feeling all of those that won't feel, won't roar, won't cry. Allowing all of these vibrations, these energy and motion to just be allowed and welcomed. I want to speak into your hearts right now and to remind you that there are five stages of grief that humans experience throughout their lifetime. And we really truly believe in talking about how the collective is grieving. And most people, it's unconscious. And Brie spoke about how one of the ways of showing up, from David in sadness and another showing up is in anger. And I wanted to share with you the five stages of grief. The first is denial and isolation. We are having forced isolation right now, brothers and sisters. This is the very first stage of grief is isolation, mm. an opportunity to isolate oneself, an opportunity to go within to remember who you are, to listen to the whispers of your soul. And I remember this so deeply when my beloved father, my hero crossed over, I didn't leave my home for three weeks. I stayed in my room. I didn't know what to do, but my body knew what to do. My soul knew what to do. And that was to isolate, was to give myself permission to be with my soul and with my, with my God. And so give yourself permission and, and gratitude that we're giving, we're given an opportunity. The collective is given the first step of the human experience of grief, which is isolation and denial, right? And there's so many, and I don't think any of you are really in full denial, but I know I jump in and out of 3D to 4D to 5D and David and I have moments ago, what the fuck, right? We're like up here in the mountains, you know? often just in bliss and creating and pouring into our tribes and our businesses are thriving and we're with the trees. And then we have these moments of like, whoa, Get here with oh shit. We are still kind of dancing in and out of this denial. I think we all kind of have to in order to operate, but it's a choice to feel that, okay, I'm experiencing, I'm witnessing this denial in my body and I'm accepting it. I'm allowing it. I'm not judging it and I'm loving it. Mm allowing the isolation, giving yourself permission to face off with the feelings of what it's like to not see your friends in the physical form, touch your friends in the physical form. For some of you touching your beloved, your family in the physical form, you know, babies die without touch. And now here we are, many of us mm. without people to touch. So you get to touch yourself. Like Brianna says, we get to self touch. Everyone give themselves a big hug right now. Give the little four or five year old mm, yeah, within yeah. you a little <laughs> rock, rock her, rock him right now. Mm. Say, I love, you. I love you. I'm with you. I'm, with you. I'm not going anywhere, sweetie. <laughs> I got you. You are not alone. <laughs> you are mm. safe. 
whatever you feel that your little four-year-old, fifth, five-year-old needs to tell you right now, you are safe. Wow. And I'll, I'll tell you what mine wants to hear. I have enough food. I'm safe. I'm protected. God is with me. My angels are with me. Everything's going to be okay. In fact, everything's going to be better than imagined. Mm. This is a storm and we're holding on tight, but we're going to ride through this and we're going to come out of the other side because the new earth is earth worth it. The new earth is worth it. The new earth is worth it. So give yourself permission to nurture that inner child within you. Number two, we touched on the anger. I'm, I was screaming in my, in my pillow for the president. I was letting myself being angry at that man, knowing in my highest self, he's doing the best he damn can. And also my human experience is fucking angry at him. Fuck you for not taking care of us, hmm. for confusing the people. I'm allowed to be a light worker and also say, fuck you, Mr. President. I'm going to allow myself to feel that anger. And also, mm. I love you, Mr. President. I forgive you, Mr. President. Mm. I'm sorry, Mr. President. So in this moment, whoever you are angry at, whether it's the president, whether it's the oil, whether it's the people that polluted mm. the sea, whether it's mm. the people that cut our trees down for no mm. fucking reason, whether mm. it's the people that let greed get over on all of us, give yourself permission to be angry uh. at them. Because that anger that's in your body is in the collective and the, and the earth feels it. We all feel it. So we got to allow it and release it. And the Hono Pono prayer I've been saying every day, I love you. I'll say it. I love you, Mr. President. I'm sorry. Thinking of the person that you need to forgive, you get to forgive, that needs you to forgive. So this planet can ascend. We don't get to be conditional with our love. We don't get to pick and choose who we, who we forgive and who we love. We have to get to forgive it all, light workers, light warriors. That is why we are here. We can feel the anger. We can feel the rage. And we can love them also. We can transmute. We are the transmuters. We are not the holders. We are the transmuters mm. of the light. And we get to honor our human experience and not make ourselves bad or wrong or spiritually bypassed when the anger comes up. So who do you get to forgive in this moment? Is it the government? Who is it? Is it your mom? Is it your dad? I've been doing a lot of work with my dad and my mom, punching my pillow, letting it out of my body so I can love deeper. I can have an open heart and boundaries, which my sister Brianna has been coaching me through so deeply. Open heart and boundaries. So let's recite the prayer out loud, repeating after me, I love you. Love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. Visualizing that person in front of you and maybe it's yourself. I love you. Love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive. Thank you. Thank One more time with all your heart. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. Breathing into that. <sighs> Giving yourself permission to forgive all. <laughs> the next stage of anger is the bargaining. Excuse me. The last, next stage of grief is bargaining. I remember this well. If I could just do this, if I just could have done that, what if we could have done this? What if we could have done that? I should have done this. And the next stage is depression. <sighs> wanting to sleep more. That's okay. Maybe not wanting to eat the most happy foods. But that's okay. Not making yourself bad or wrong for having that experience. I know when my doggy crossed over, I was a little depressed. So was my, my dog. He wasn't really playing much. So honoring all of the feels. And the fifth stage of grief is acceptance. And I know many of us are dancing in and out of that as we dance in and out of the 3D and the 4D. How can I have acceptance that this planet will never be the same? And that's okay. That's what we came here for. And can we trust that this planet will never be the same? And it will also be the best planet ever. So allowing yourself to know that not all humans go through all stages in a row, moving, jumping in and out of these five stages of the grieving process. And the most important part is just to honor, love, and accept it all. Give yourself permission to cry. Give yourself permission to be angry. Give yourself permission to feel. Give yourself permission to forgive. 
and honor and know that your friends and your family are going through it too and your clients and not always are people going to be operating at their highest vibration of unconditional love because many people aren't even conscious that they're grieving right now mm. and it's manifesting in many different ways mm. just wanted to speak that into our community right now Thank you. and that we're all honoring each and every one of you and I know there's a lot of people who couldn't get on today because it capped at 100 and it's all perfect and divine. And I'm trusting that the 100 that were here were supposed to be. And this grid of light that we created was divine and perfect. So I'm just going to finish with a little song um, that came through today as I was outside channeling our divine light star beings, brothers and sisters that operate out of unconditional love and light frequency. I was calling in the ancestors of the sacred land where I sit and calling in all the guides and the angels and the ascended masters and the ancestors, as David mentioned, are literally dancing around all of us. They are so pumped. <laughs> they sent you to incarnate this lifetime to transmute this planet into the new earth. Oh my gosh, the golden ticket. The golden ticket. Just go ahead and um, <clears throat> do my best to remember and just clear my mind, releasing my ego from this experience. This is not about me. <sighs> I'm a humble servant to the light.
grace and the peace radiating out of your heart, honoring and remembering your ancestors that are here and with you, your angels and guides that will never leave you, and the ascending masters. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for praying with us. Thank you for staying in light. Thank you for seeing. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for doing your work on yourself. Thank you for breathing. Thank you for feeling for being the torch in your light and your communities and your families and leading the way. We couldn't be doing this sacred circle Sundays without you. Please continue to share with your communities. Our goal and intent is to call in the 30,000 light workers from around the world to activate this grid, knowing when 30,000 more is the tipping point, we can single-handedly, collectively shift the consciousness of this planet. My desire, my declare, my declaration, my affirmation is that we come together with 30,000 light workers at the same time, at the same space reality on a sacred Sunday, and we completely shift this planet's consciousness. We completely activate this new earth. That is possible. That's what we're here to do. We cannot do this alone. We must join light. We must join in tribe and sacred and unity and the power of the one, the yes. divine creator. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Aho, Ashe, Amen. Blessings to all. We see y'all in person someday and give y'all a real hug. It'll happen. It's happening. You know, Sacred Sundays in person. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Revival style with the tents and everything. Hot love, tents, <laughs> oh, baby, instruments, two days. revival. At least two days. Camping. Hugs all the Jedi's on here. Sacred Sundays. T.E. You know, I see a Medicine. couple other cats in here. Love y'all. Shout out to all. So us. much love. All my new yeah. family. Thank you, family. Real quick, I just want to add one thing. I know there's a lot of you that are asking how you can work with all of us in a deeper capacity. Um, I just would like to go around and have each and every one of you share what you have going on right now because I know a lot of us are working with the times and we're shifting our offerings in such a way that we can help more people. And so I would love for Bear and Brianna and David to also speak into what they have going on because we do want to support you guys um, with everything that you're going through right now if it feels good. So who wants to start what they have going on? For us, the best would just be to check out our website. Just sign up yeah. for our newsletter. Check out our website. There's the so much happening. The earthtemple.com. Um, the biggest thing that we have right now is our year-long sacred circle facilitators training for shamanic church. facilitators who want to be a part of a lineage 
um, yeah. and the church, building a, a religion of one church, which means your relationship with God and you have a place where you can go to express that. Yeah. So those are our biggest offerings. And we'll include, if you guys can send us what websites you want, we'll include those in the show notes that we're creating as well. So people can just click on that once they see the video as well. So thank you. Yeah. Thanks for and that. We are, we are here. Mm-hmm. Word. And um, David downloaded an offering yes. yesterday to support the closet healers, if you will, <laughs> the massage therapists, the uh, Reiki masters, even the personal trainers, those that know that they're healers mm-hmm. and, and took on these roles that um, require them to be in the physical form mm-hmm. with humans and learning how to shift that into uh, doing remote healing mm-hmm. and building an energy body so you can activate mm-hmm. and heal others virtually. And so that's coming online right yeah. now. I'm very excited yeah. to support um, as you pivot, as we mm-hmm. all pivot, right? As life will never be the same, we get to find unique ways mm-hmm. to still show up and activate our inner mm-hmm. healer um, and be able to hold space for another to activate their own healing. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited for that. Yeah. So, you know, in a nutshell, we all have the capacity to heal right now. We can feel the energy, the shifts in our consciousness, the emotions that came through, you know, so we're able to, you know, my gift is, is, to, is to help guide y'all to do this for y'all people more and more, you know, and feel confident to lead a little breath, to lead a little tone, whatever it may be, um, and, and build our energy muscles, you know what I'm saying? Build our energy muscles. Um, and um, so uh, just sending so much love to y'all. And um, I would say, you know, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm doing free Facebook Lives. So come join me with, with Miracle Monday, one o'clock. Warrior Wednesday, we're gonna strengthen, work out some of that. I'm gonna start roaring. We're gonna roar, roar on Wednesdays, goddamn it. That's what's Good. up. And then Friday, Friday's Flow Friday, you know, so we kind of ease in, integrate. Um, so that's, you know, a great way to connect in. Um, and then I'll, 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 uh, I'll keep y'all in tune with when it, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be start with a master class. It'll be like a, a three hour kind of class, um, you know, and um, so, so stoked to, to be with y'all and love y'all so much. Um, and we'll see y'all very soon. Amazing. And I'm bringing back a program that um, I decided to set aside that has helped over 350 light workers from around the world pivot in their corporate jobs and their day-to-days and really step into their divine soul assignment. And I got a hit from Spirit the other day. It's like, this is gold. You got to offer this back to people at a deeply discounted rate. So I'm doing it for like $3,000 off just to make sure that many of you can be empowered to be in vibrational alignment, to uh, really like magnify your ability to drop into source and to be able to make choices from the light and from your soul versus your ego. And so really step up your game with your practices, your connection to spirit, radiating a joy frequency, self-love. Um, connecting to nature. Brianna Bearheart and David are going to be guest mm-hmm. experts in that. So we're really just going to pour into you guys for four weeks mm-hmm. um, and to really utilize this kind of recipe formula that, that I used and help so many others mm-hmm. navigate out of their matrix day to day into really why they're here. And so we need all of us on the front lines, activating others with our unique gifts and uh, really no longer can we be no more hiding out, no, no more hiding out. out y'all in the spiritual closet. No like out. let's get out there on the front lines. <laughs> we need all you warriors on yeah. front and center, joining arms and hearts and yeah. leading the planet through this, this beautiful great awakening into the earth that we've dreamed of. So grateful and thankful for all of you. Thank you for taking time out of your life to, to pray and to gather and to activate like this matters. This matters more than anything I know is, is family and soul family and star family and raising the collective vibration. So thank you for doing the work. And uh, Brianna Bearheart, thank you for being masters of your circumstances. Yeah, that's what's up. And literally not having an excuse. They could have very no easily excuse. been like, can't make it. We're all good now. <laughs> right? And now your spirit is like, let's give you a physical manifestation yeah. of surrender. And yeah. there you go. Yeah, surrender and keep it moving. Thank yeah. you, Spirit. Yeah. Me, we're doing uh, Miami time, 6 p.m. every day, drum prayer every day. Oh, damn. 6 yes. p.m. Miami time, Eastern time. Right? Great. Pacific. Thank you. Yeah. And just stay in touch with us, guys, on Facebook, Instagram, however you got here. We'll help you find the links to everyone else. So we'll make sure to, to cross pollinate mm-hmm. on our different sites and check us out on Instagram and Facebook and all the things. And we're with you every step of the way. Thank you so much for joining us. Bless, bless, love, love. <laughs> From our Love heart to yours around the world. <laughs> 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 <laughs>